I'm going to uh, turn to the right first. Okay? Alright. What a mouse do is you're just going to approach this turn and from the inside and right here, leave right beside it. This turn. Looks pretty simple. This horse is pretty nice about being in the right place. Slow down a little bit as you approach the turn. Slow down a little as you approach the turn, whatever speed you're in. He kind of wants to go toward that pole a little bit. Here's the thing you're teaching is technique on the horse. You want the horse to learn technique, so you approach the turn, you pull back a little, slow down. Make the horse, give your horse plenty of room to turn his pole. Okay, back to the form. <laughs> For this exercise, I like to stay about this far away, right when I approach this turn. Right before I start to turn, I want to stay this far away. As I'm turning this arc, each step is going to decrease the distance between him and the pole. To when I make the last step, I want to leave right beside that pole. Okay, I'm this far away here. When I get here, I'm a, I'm a little closer than I was there. When I get here, I'm a little closer yet. But when I'm right here, I want to leave right beside this pole. Does that make sense? Okay. What we're trying to do, some people describe it as a pocket, which is a good analogy. We want to keep this horse, give this horse room to turn. So we want to create a pocket for this horse. Our objective for this turn is, and I like to work on turns from backwards. What's my end result? What do I want to achieve? Where do I want this horse to be whenever I'm leaving this turn? Which is the object of what I'm trying to do. Okay, where I want this horse to leave this turn is right beside the blow. Let me get over here. Where I want my horse to leave the turn, I want to be for the next turn, where I am, fairly close to it. That's what I want. So how am I going to achieve that? So I, I, I approach it backwards. Okay, to get there, I need to get my horse a little room here, a little more there, to keep the momentum up. So that's how I got, that's how I arrived at that. So, as I approach this turn, I also want a horse, I want my horse to slow down. Because I want them to learn to rate a little bit there, but I don't want them to rate too much on their own. That's why I want them to pull back. I want them to run right up into that turn until I ask them to back off and slow down. But I ask them to back off and slow down, and they do, and then I ease up on the rain pressure, try to maintain that speed that they slow down to. I'm too close right there. And finish that turn, and then the first step out of that turn, I want to, when I'm when my shoulders are square, when my shoulders are square with the next object which is there, then I want to speed up. Okay, I'm not going to talk for just a minute, I'm just going to work on it. That's what I want. Outside leg and encourage them to stay closer. 
So I'm gonna use this apple leg in this turn. Right here. Get the horse tight on this turn. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay. So what you're gonna use that for on every turn, that's gonna help you accelerate that horse out of that turn. Right there. Slow down a little going into the turn and accelerate leaving it. 